What is going on everybody? I hope all is well. We are back playing Pokemon Sun and Moon. We got ourselves another Wi-Fi battle here on Battle Spot. It's a doubles match. And uh yo know, th th this one I I wouldn't really call it the most competitive match, but I did something cool or at least something cool in the uh the plans. And I was wondering if there's any theory crafters out there that could kind of, you know, Help me move it along. Help me move out this uh, the strategy that I'm slowly building. Uh, maybe there's something there. Maybe there's not. I don't know. Let's find out. And uh, when we get to that part, I'll uh, I'll talk about it a little bit more. All right. So I am challenging his Pokemon trainer Pierre, and he's going for the the uh, half dab there that uh, seems to be everly so possible. I'm going to lead off with my Mudsdale and uh, Sarnia. He's going to lead off with Kangaskhan and Togekiss. And if you remember last generation, Kangaskhan's, especially the uh, the Mega variant of uh, Kangaskhan there, was so incredibly annoying and so incredibly overpowered. I mean, maybe not so much in doubles and singles. They were just an absolute pain. So he's going to start off with the Fake Out. But Zarnia's got the Queenly Majesty, and uh, well, that basically cancels it out all together. Uh, Togekiss is going to go for the Magical Leaf on Mudsdale, and it does a decent amount of damage. I mean, it's nothing you know super special, but uh, yeah, it boosts my uh, my defense there with the uh, the stamina raise, and uh, I also carry weakness policy, so that's also going to boost my attack and then boost my speed. So. Uh, Mudsdale, he just became a whole lot more, uh, more dangerous, more of a uh, tank. Now, at this point, I just want to get some damage off on the Kangaskhan. It's not a whole lot. I mean, maybe you know, over, uh, over a quarter. I don't know. But with uh, Mudsdale, this is what I was talking about. I use Rototiller, and uh, what it does, it, it boosts uh, your Grass type Pokemon on the field. Now. I'm wondering, yeah, you know, how do I build off that? What do I, what do I do to make that better? And maybe a better uh, grass type Pokemon? Um, I don't know because I kind of like uh, Sarnia's uh, ability there, you know, canceling out the fake outs, canceling out sucker punches, canceling out all that nonsense. It's a, uh, it's a great ability, and you know, with the right build, I, I think this team can be absolutely devastating. So anyway, Togekiss, he's going for the follow me here. Uh, Kangaskhan's going to want to go with the, for the power up punch. And just punches Zarnia right in the face. And she's like, eh, whatever. No big deal. Absolutely bulky and absolutely a beast. I mean, I, I, I kind of just, you know, made this Pokemon because of the ability. But, you know, certain things here and there, the more I use, uh, the more I use her, the more I'm like liking it, you know. So with the follow me, I originally attacked uh, Kangaskhan, but it's fine. I'll go for the Togekiss too. And just remember, he went for the follow me, and uh, Mudsdale he carries that heavy slam, so he's gonna kind of start throwing his body weight around like uh, like he owns the place. And Togekiss, you know, he's, he's smiling right now. It, it's not smiling after that Clydesdale just absolutely wrecks house. So that is one down on my opponent's side, and uh, things are starting to look pretty good for me. I'm starting to get a little bit of uh, inertia here. So in comes Mimikyu, and uh, honestly, I'm surprised how uh, how much I see this Pokemon. Well, maybe I'm not super surprised. It is a really cool design. I really like the you know the backstory to it. Uh, King's Con's gonna go for the uh, the sucker punch, and uh, you know didn't learn the lesson before. Queenly uh, Majesty just cancels that out. And, uh, you know, Mimikyu, he's going to start playing with some swords over there, doing a little dance. And I want to just go right for this Kangaskhan, hoping to kill it, get it down in red. I mean, what do you think? Maybe four hit points left? Maybe five hit points left? I don't know. Doesn't really matter. At this point, though, Kangaskhan's not exactly a threat. Uh, my Mudsdale, he's going to go for the Heavy Slam again. Mimikyu is half fairy. Honestly, it didn't really matter what I did here. Uh, basically, just trying to break that disguise. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's that, 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 that's another, you know, speaking of really cool abilities. That's just another really cool ability. 
Now at plus two, Mimikyu's gonna go for the Leech Life and as bulky as Sarnia is, I don't even think she could have taken that at full health, especially not from a uh, plus two Mimikyu. Now Kangaskhan, he's gonna go for another power up punch. You know, not Dan for the Sucker Punch, not Dan for anything else. And uh, I thought this was kind of funny because Clydesdale, his ability is stamina. And you know, that, that raises defense every time you hit him. So every time this Kangaskhan hits me, as you remember, you know, the, the little baby Kangaskhan there, you know, it's a double attack. Um, yeah, so it, it kind of neutralizes it, you know. He gets plus two attack, but now I get plus two defense. So we're kind of both in the same ballpark. I'm going to go for the, another heavy slam onto Mimikyu, and that is one dead Mimikyu. There, uh, there's no way it's going to take that, not with that, uh... Now with that weakness policy I uh, popped earlier, his last Pokemon is going to be the Toxiplex, and I got a love-hate relationship with that Pokemon. I mean, it's a really cool design. Um, I can never get it to work, but every time I face one, it just absolutely you know destroys me. So he's going to go for the Baneful Bunker, which is a really cool new protect. Uh, when he uses it, kind of like a spiky shield where you hurt yourself. Or uh, King Shield where you lower your you know, attacks. Baneful Bunker, when you attack it, it uh, poisons you. So, uh, actually, I don't even know if it works with um, you know poison types. You, know, you had that one Pokemon there of Corrosion where, you know, if you get, you could get poisoned. But anyway, he's going to go for another power-up punch. And uh, at this point, what's he at? Like plus four, plus five, plus six, plus a thousand? I don't know. Vikavolt takes that like... Uh, like he's at minus at this point. It's, it's absolutely absurd how bulky that Pokemon is. Um, honestly, I wish it was a lot faster, cause you know. But that's that's what Trick Room teams are for, and I love playing Trick Room teams. And uh, you know, I, I gotta make some more. So this generation is definitely giving me an excuse to make more Trick Room teams. Now I'm gonna go for a Z move. It's Gigavolt Havoc. Honestly, I don't need to, but I want to. Why? Because this animation is amazing. And I want Kangaskhan to know who's uh, who's in charge this generation. It is no longer uh, you know the royal emperor of of Gen Six. And uh, with my last attack, I am just gonna absolutely finish off this uh, this battle. Toxicplex, you know, look great and all, but I'm gonna go for that high horsepower and. Uh, you know, there's nothing you can do about that. See you later, buddy. Alright, well, that is the end of the battle. I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, had a lot of fun making it, as always. I mean, I love battling. And, uh, you know, if you did, please hit that like button. If you're new here, please subscribe. As always, you know, I, I've been doing a lot of Pokemon videos lately, and I plan on doing a whole lot more. I, I ain't stopping anytime soon. Alright, well... I hope you all have a wonderful day and take care. Bye.